So I'm going to show you an alternate way to assemble your Wii logo, and it may help you to find some of the assembly errors that are causing your problem. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hub and you're going to place your diaphragm on it, making sure that it popped through. So you're going to check and make sure that this is flat. It should be flat all the way around. And then you want to check and make sure that it's all the way through and that it's centered over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place your container back on, pressing it flat to connect both sides at the same time. And then you're going to take your flange. You're going to center it in this hole. And you're going to push it straight through. And what that's going to do is it's going to let us see back here to confirm. You want to see that top hole needs to be slightly out. That bottom hole needs to be completely here. A lot of the back flooding issues when we get you to assemble this way, what we're finding is that this back hole is partially covered or that this hole is entirely not through. So you're going to make sure that that's all the way out that it can go. So really give that a good press. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your duck bell and you're going to start here at the bottom and roll it up to the top because we're finding that provides a little bit more stability. And you're gonna check and make sure that this here is pinched closed. If this slit is open when you've assembled this, it's going to create an atypical vacuum. And then when you go to take the pump off, if it's submerged, you're gonna get backflow through it. So again, double check that. And then you're gonna take your container back and you're gonna press it straight down so that both sides are coming on at the same time. See, I did not get that on there quite right. So you, to pull that apart, you're just gonna pull it there. And you're going to, again, here, watch, this will be a good one. Now you're gonna check here. All of this seal should be flat. There should be nothing out of place. Everything should be nice and firm. If you push this together, there should be very little give or play. If you go to push on it like this, see how my thumbs are moving? If you push on it like this and it's very spongy, then you've done it wrong and you want to start all over again. And if you're still having issues, you want to contact um, one of us here in the group and we want to check and make sure everything is good. Now, once everything's assembled, then apply your insert because we can see all the different issues. Once we put an insert in here, unless it's clear, it's going to cause problems. Okay, good luck with that.